The beam front axle has been a Jeep mainstay since the Model MB. In 1984, Jeep introduced the XJ Cherokee with Lincoln coil front suspension and a beam axle. On these applications and TJ Wranglers, as depicted here, the steering linkage consists of a long drag link that goes from the pitman arm to the right side steering arm, and a tie rod that connects to that long drag link and goes to the left steering arm. These pieces are adjustable for length, compensating for toe set changes and keeping the steering wheel on center. We're about to perform an alignment with equipment that is affordable and also very accurate. First we check the floor for level and center the steering wheel. The beam axle is also checked for straight and parallel to the floor. We always use specifications from a factory workshop manual. Fast Track's alignment equipment from Specialty Products Company helps assure the accurate check of caster angle, camber angle, and the toe-in. Let's begin by checking the camber angle using Gill Smith turn plates on a level floor. Be certain that the ball joints at the steering knuckles are in top condition before making this check. Camber angle is minus three quarters of a degree and still in spec. Now we'll check the caster angle, swinging the front wheels 30 degrees total or 15 degrees in each direction. We'll begin by turning the wheel 15 degrees outward. Level the vial block to zero. Now turn the wheel inward 15 degrees and take your caster reading. This late TJ Wrangler does not have adjustable eccentrics at the lower link arm, so we'll use Specialty Products Company's aftermarket adjustable link arm bolts. Our goal in this case is to shorten the link arms by adjusting the eccentrics to reduce the total number of degrees of caster. Since this is a beam axle, the caster angle should be fairly close side to side. In this case, we need to subtract two degrees of positive caster. Effectively, we need to shorten each of the link arms. We make the adjustment and tighten the hardware, and this time even torque the nuts to the proper tightening specification. Turn the wheel outward 15 degrees, set the vial block to zero. Then turn the wheel inward 15 degrees and take a reading. In this case, we're right on the mark at seven degrees positive caster think of wheel alignment, we think of toe set. Proper toe-in prevents tire wear and also helps us steer the vehicle straight. In addition to setting the toe-in, we also want to keep the steering wheel on center in the straight ahead position, which is this adjustment here. Using a pair of Fast Tracks alignment gauge racks helps speed up the toe set process. It's much easier when you have wings at the front and back side of the tire. It's important to continually center up the steering as you adjust the toe set. Adjusting the toe, measuring front and rear side of the tire, eventually you reach the right toe set and the correct adjustment of the steering on center. Always make sure that the joints are in good shape, greased properly and moving freely when you are adjusting the settings. Final adjustment should include centering up each of the joints so that the ball studs are perpendicular to the ball socket at each of the joints when the wheels are pointed straight ahead. Toe-in set, clamps secured and torqued properly. You can test drive the vehicle. Make sure the steering is still on center, that the vehicle tracks properly, and that the linkage is not binding. All parts working well together, the alignment is complete.